interest. He is not interested in your welfare. He's not interested in your welfare. He don't want to have a good time or a good life or a healthy spiritual life. I want you to see this after me. God's will be done in my life. Say it louder. Let God's will be done in my life. And if you back up a little bit in verse 10, it says, Finally be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Finally be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I want to read verse 10. And also, so he says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. So your strength cannot resist spiritual entities. Your strength cannot resist demonic entities. Demonic powers in the spiritual realm and respond to your opposition. So what do they respond to? They respond to the strength of the Lord. So God's strength is what can sustain you in a spiritual battle. Not your strength, but the strength of the Lord can sustain you in a spiritual battle. Listen to this, what the Bible teaches you. It says that Put on the whole armor of God, not 20% of the armor, but the all armor, the all armor, everything. So you don't put in, you don't put on a 20% armor, but a 100%, the all armor, put on the all armor, all of it. Because the other I gotta put on everything so I can fight. So in the spiritual realm, we put on the armor. So we can resist the one we don't see. Now the enemy is a sneak attack. He's a cheap fighter. He doesn't have many options. So he likes to sneak attack. It's like gorilla warfare. He wants to sneak in and attack you. Gorilla style. So you are not aware of the attack. So most people are victims. That's why when you're dealing with this, a human being, and suddenly their attitude towards you begin to change. Before you get upset, verify whether they are really in their mind or there is something that is operating through them to make it difficult for them to function normally. It could be your supervisor, it could be your parents, your children, your manager, and your job, anybody. So in a situation like that, you have to verify whether what you're dealing with is a natural or spiritual situation. Now, what principalities do, they control people's mind or they exert their role through the streamline of thoughts that human beings permit. Romans chapter 12. Let's see what it says. Verse 1. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. Read. Beseech you by the mass of God to present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and separate unto God, which is the principal service, which is your which is your spiritual service, and be not fashioned and crumbled with the small is reversed. Reversed. But be it transformed by the renewing of your mind, and you may prove that which is good 
acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, you can't know whether you're in the will of God or not unless you study the word. You can't know that you're in the, in the world unless you know your mind. It's our nature to think that everything is okay as human beings. It's because you ate and you drunk and you sleep. That's the minds of this world. In the spiritual realm, it doesn't work like that. Please listen to me carefully. In the spiritual realm, the enemy could be working things against you, even though in the natural it looks okay. He could be doing things against you. But in the natural it looks like it's okay. And most people never know until it's too late. But some get to wake up before they're destroyed. Your safety is when you put the armor of God on. Wrestling is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the world, against this darkness, against spiritual forces in weak or wickedness in heavenly places. Watch this. Why is the media so powerful? Because the devil can project his agenda through media outlets. Parents, you think you're raising up your children. Yeah, to a certain extent you were. But you're busy. You gotta go to work to make sure they eat. You gotta go to work to make sure they drink. They have new clothes. It's fruity. It is money for field trips. So you don't have time for your children to have a one on one dialogue or communication. So they go to school, they're exposed to the school culture, which is influenced by MTV, BAT, and Disney World, Disney Channel, characteristics of rebellion, perversion, promiscuity. So now, like a tape recorder. They do whatever they see. So if they sit on TV, they're going to do it because they think it's cool. Yelling at their parents, acting goofy like the cartoons they see, Simpson and other cartoons. You have to deal with those entities that are released through television to influence your children in a demonic way. If you don't pray for them, if you don't encourage them to go to church, if you don't encourage them to read the word, it's just a matter of time. What you see on TV because that's the mandate of Satan is to defile and to destroy this generation. You have celebrities now in America and around the world pushing the agenda of homosexuality. Things that now is going to come unless prayer is released with intensity where now boys can go to the girls' restaurant. And girls can go to the boys' restaurant. You 
know what's going to happen. A sex first. What are the boys doing in a girl's restaurant? Well, it's a big battle in America now. They want to allow boys to go to the restaurant with the girls. It's America. Freedom of speech. The homosexuals want to have the rights. They want to have a right to get married. They want to use the bathroom of their choice. Quote, calling it discrimination. If they are allowed to go to the bathroom, they think like they should go to. So if this boy thinks the girl, he has a right to go to a girl's bathroom. That's what they're saying. Now, what is this? What if somebody doesn't think he is a girl, but he just want to go and feast on some girls? It's simple common sense. Men, oh, they don't care. They will with other women, they don't care. They just look at one experience unless they're delivered. So when you send your daughter to school, you send her to a buffet line. Because your rule is le cool, le glis, le kai. Most of the churches are dead. To find a church like this that preaches the word, it's a miracle you missed the blessed blood of Jesus for that. Because here we're going to preach against sexual sin. But the most people don't preach against it. Why? Because they're afraid they're going to get to a man. No. Sex outside marriage is sin. I don't care what they call it. Just sex. No. Sex is not eating candy. It's a spiritual activity. If you're not married, you are being destroyed. Can I hear a bit of that? So it's not something that we take lightly. It is something we have to address with the preaching of the word. The preaching of the cross them that perish is foolishness. But unto us who are saved, it is the power of God. Whether you say amen, you don't say amen, I'm going to preach it. So you got to talk to your children, tell them when you go to school, if you see a man walking into the restroom, run. Run for life. Hallelujah. Can I get better amen than that? Homosexuality is an anti-Christ spirit. These agendas are the ones you're battling against. The devil don't want you to have a child that is worshiping God when they reach 16. When they become teenagers, you want them to be crazy. Doing crazy things. And they're going to tell you, this is America. I can do what I want to do. Well, kid, I know this is America. You can do what you want to do. But it's my house. I'm paying a bill. I'm paying a high bill. If you're in my house, you're going to pray. You're going to read the word. And you cannot watch pornography in my house. Can I hear me to that? My house is a holy house. Parents were so upset. I think this is this, one of the steps. They had a town hall meeting and they said if the school commits this rule in the city, I'm going to quit my job and homeschool my 
your children. You have a choice whether you want to lose your child or keep your child. Your child doesn't have a brain to know whether they can sleep with this man or not. Though they look grown, they don't have a brain. They don't know the consequences. There's HIV out there. The STDs out there. And above all, there's spiritual wicked 